I am doing this tarot reading for the city of Los Angeles. I am doing a three card reading. The first card represents where we are coming from, where we have been. You can also think of it as the past. The second card is where we are in this moment, the present, what is right now. And the third card is our potentiality card, where we are headed, what is emerging, what we have to look forward to. So for the first card, uh, where we've been, where we're coming from, or the past, we get the world card. This is the last card in the major arcana. It is the end of a cycle, a cycle of learning, of growth, of pain, of suffering, of trauma, of revelation, of transformation, of reclaiming liberation. We are coming from a place of lots of change, lots of grief, sadness. And we have learned, we have grown, we have reorganized, we have recentered, we have had moments to come back to ourselves, come back into our body. The world is about the cycles of the universe and the ways in which we are spiraling upwards. We are dancing, we are flowing, we are becoming, we are blooming. This card is about feeling empowered, feeling ready, feeling present, feeling celebratory. It is about taking time to relish in what we have gone through, in how we have changed, in how we have grown. It is a time to take stock, to really think about who we are right now, knowing that everything changes, God is change, goddess is change, and we are always changing. Yet, we have come to a new place where we are being given another opportunity to step into the void, to dance with wild abandon, to relish in our somatic power, in our gifts, in our abilities, in our mutations, in the ways in which we have transformed. We have new superpowers now. We have new abilities now. Who are we in this moment? This is a really beautiful card. This is one of my favorite cards. It is really a card about reflecting back, looking into the past, and also being really excited about what is coming because we are now in another part of that spiral. So that means that yes, there will be cyclical energies in our lives. There might be things that come that feel like they're repeating themselves, yet we are fully different. We are looking at them from another state of awareness, from another state of consciousness. And we are moving into the present moment with the second card that we receive in this reading which is the instructor number five, or the Hierophant. Five is an incredibly sacred number for my people, the Viraritari people of Mexico. Five is a number of sacred spirit. It is the fifth element. It is the void. It is the nothingness. It is what is at the heart. It is what is at the core. This card represents tradition, it represents ritual and ceremony. It represents those people that for thousands of years have stepped into the circle of these spaces to lead community, to commune, to connect, to draw up power from the earth, from the body, into the center, into the sacred void, into the communal. We are now in a place where we are able to create our own customs, our own rituals, reclaim 
what tradition means to us. As we move from the world card, we are now in a new cycle. And so we are able to reimagine, reinvigorate meaning, trust, hope, imagination into the habits, the rituals that we do every single day. These elements transform our lives. We become our habits. We become that which we contain. As we enter into the circle, as we enter into ceremony, we access history, memory, relationship that goes beyond this moment. We are expansive. We are infinite. This is a place of infinite possibility. Five allows us to reimagine structure, to reimagine the scaffolding that creates our lives. Are we being held up? Are we being nurtured? Are we being cared for? Are we being guided? This card reminds us that there is a lineage that we are connected to, that we are a part of, and that if you feel disconnected, it is an invitation back into the circle of ceremony, back into ritual, and back towards that scaffolding that holds us. You are held. You are loved. There are others. There are ancestors. There are angels that are watching over you, that are shaping the way your life is unfolding. This card is also about reclaiming power, really stepping into that role yourself. If you feel like you don't have someone to turn to, it is about self-ordaining. It is about moving towards the spirit within us all, moving towards our inner power, our inner fire, our inner will. From here, we move to the third card, which is the potentiality. What is emerging? Where are we headed? What is in our future? And I am so happy to share that we have received a blessing by receiving the Ace of Bottles or Ace of Cups, that is, as it is known in the traditional tarot deck. Bottles represents the element of water. Water is life. <laughs> water connects us through memory, through consciousness, through a sense of awareness. It connects us to all life on Earth. Water moves through us. It brings relationality. It brings emotional depth. It brings with it an ability to tap into our subconscious. The Ace of Bottles is a promise. It is a gift. It is the universe letting you know that yes, our hearts have been broken. There has been a lot of grief. There has been a lot of change. There has been a lot of reorganizing reorienting and of course there can be lots of confusion misunderstanding misdirection that can happen in those moments and yet the ace of bottles wants us to know that there is an overflowing abundance of love of care of relationality of nurturance of flow that we are moving towards. Our hearts are resilient. They are strong. They are able to expand and to hold what comes towards us. Trust that you will be able to receive the gifts, the abundances that are waiting for you. The Ace of Bottles is about 
feeling expectant, having that moment where you feel like you're awaiting a big surprise, something that's going to shatter and shake everything you've known. It is about that moment right before it is unveiled to you, the feeling of fear, of excitement, and maybe a little bit of dread, maybe a little bit of anxiety. These are emotions that emerge when we know that our lives are going to be forever changed. Again, this is a blessing card. This is a card of flow, of support, of love, of connection. So take a moment and let yourself feel the connections that are related to you. This cis heteropatriarchal colonialist system will want us to believe that we are alone in our journey, that we need to figure things out by ourselves. But the Ace of Bottles is here to remind us that there is an overwhelming abundance of collaborative, creative, nurturing energy that surrounds us, that wants to reach out and touch us, that wants to douse us in its waters of life and love. Again, I would say a big message from this card is to work on opening your heart more, letting love in, letting care in, letting connection in. Trust that you will be able to know when it is time to put up boundaries, to protect yourself, and that you can trust that your heart can open, can receive, can connect, that these are the blessings that are being given to you right now. So overall, I just want to say that Los Angeles, you are in for some exciting, transformative, guided experiences in the next few years. There are ancestors here that are working through us, through our bodies. They are moving us in many directions. They are guiding us and we are being held as we transform ourselves, as we transform individually, collectively, and as a city, there are many transformations that will move through us. All of them will be blessed and guided and will be a part of a greater plan. Trust that the universe is conspiring to send you blessings, to open up pathways, to create opportunities and synchronicities, to bring forward abundance in the many ways that it is wanting to show up for you. And know that abundance emerges financially, relationally, creatively, psychologically, etc., etc. <laughs> Thank you.